And I hope you've been watching because, listen, we're here to pray for you. Listen, give us a call at 770-300-9828 because, yes, God is still in the healing business. And the Bible lets us know if any two or three touch and agree on any one thing, that he will be in the midst. So call us, 770-300-9828. And just in case you're watching and you have not accepted God and his wonderful gift, which is his son, Jesus Christ, in your heart as your Lord and Savior, the Bible says this right here, Romans the 10th chapter, the name of the 10th verse. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart the man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And if you have heard that word, I want you to pray this prayer after me. It says, Father, I know I am a sinner. I ask you to forgive me. I believe Christ died for me, and God has raised Jesus from the dead. I want to turn from my sins. Jesus, come into my heart and be my personal Lord and Savior. I promise to obey you and follow you all the days of my life. If you prayed that prayer, we want to hear from you tonight. 770-300-9828 because we're here in the prayer room to intercede, to pray for you, to lift those prayers up before God because we want deliverance for you and we want your life to be better. So give us a call at 770-300-9828 so we can join in with you and rejoice in the wonderful things of God. Now back to the set. Welcome back to the set, everyone. We are having such a wonderful time this evening. I'm so glad that you're here with us. We're so excited. We have so many fabulous guests tonight. So many fabulous guests. I'm getting so guests. much out of this tonight. So just tell us about our next guest, Caitlin. Yes, we already learned how to rest and be yes. healed. And now we're going to learn how to have vision for the world. Um, I'm so excited about our next guest, Adnan Moksud. And I believe I said that right. I told him that I always get my name pronounced wrong. So I always want to make sure I pronounce everybody else's name right. But we're so excited to have you tonight. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So tell us about yourself. Uh, what brought you to your point today? Um, so um, my name is Adnan Maksud, and I'm the founder of uh, Vision Ministries and Vision TV, and uh, which was founded actually out of a vision. Uh, at the age of um, uh, 12, I was uh, sleeping in my room, and all of a sudden, I felt like I was dead, you know. It, it's in a dream. So it, I felt like my spirit was lifted up out of my body, and I could see myself, you know, literally, mm -hmm. like, in my spirit eyes. I can see myself that laying on, on the bed, and um, I, was, I was so scared because I was 12 years old, and I said, God, I don't want to die because I'm <laughs> too young to, mm -hmm. you know, um, die. But um, at that time, uh, I heard the voice, you know, that uh, I, I'm not going to let you die, and I was, I was, then I felt little, you know, whole that felt a little satisfied. And then all of a sudden, I felt that, um, you know, heard the voice that I'm going to give you the second chance. And I felt the spirit came back in my body. And that mm -hmm. time, I was, uh, I, I opened my eyes and looked around. And nobody was, everybody was sleeping. It was dark. And, uh, you know, it was incredible. But out of that, um, out of that, I, I felt that God, the next day, uh, same experience happened. And mm -hmm. then I understood what was the second chance was given for that is awesome. So tell us about, um, I love the incredible stories of the supernatural. So tell us about um, how Vision Ministries International came to be. When was it founded and what exactly do you guys do? So actually, I'm born and raised in Pakistan, and this is a very hard place to be a Christian. And uh, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> everybody knows that. And uh, it is, uh, it is, it is uh, out of that, you know, uh, God giving me a second chance and uh, out of that I found out that you know because I always was very passionate to reach a new people you know younger generations and that's why uh, you know I always felt that way but uh, we had some couple pastors came on after that vision uh, they invited me to join the prayer team after uh, joining prayer team with them and I began to you know uh, see how the prayer warriors pray how they conduct meetings and out of that I began to see that you know 
how desperate the younger people in Pakistan mm-hmm. was. You know, like they would just cry out prayers in tongues and all these things. And um, and then out of that, I felt like I want to do something amazing uh, at the age of 14. And they told me, hey, you know what? Um, uh, we're going to have you, you know, preach your first message mm-hmm. at age 14. And then I had the opportunity to preach my message uh, and encourage and inspire people. And I would see the people that who are older than me they would come forward and uh, they would throw their uh, cigarette you know, boxes away. They said, hey, listen, mm-hmm. we just feel like we want to repent and we want to give all that what we've done in the past for, the, uh, for Jesus because seeing you, uh, it's really inspired. So out of that, when, when I moved from Pakistan to United States in New York and um, God began to speak to me because I forgot about that. You know, all this, what happened, you know, how God gave me a second chance. I forgot about that. And then uh, I went back into the world because I wanted to be a businessman. And uh, I, I got myself very motivated to do a business management uh, a training and uh, also work on a degree. And But out of that, I began to, again, having the same dreams, you know. And that's mm-hmm. where the vision came out, that mm-hmm. I want to reach uh, uh, for Jesus, Pakistan. I want to mm-hmm. reach Middle East for Jesus. Yes. I want to reach uh, all entire generation for the name of Jesus. So out of that, I never expected in my entire life when Vision uh, TV was founded, we were reaching millions of people, mm-hmm. literally around the world. That is amazing. amazing. Um, I love hearing stories of that. Um, Vision is so important. Yes. And you talk about dreams. Um, I love when God speaks to us in dreams. Why do you think God chooses sometimes? Some of you tonight may be watching and you're saying, I kind of had a dream like that. I I know you have dreams all the time and you're like, what does that mean? How is God going to use this dream? Why do you think God chooses to use dreams and how can we listen to those dreams? Uh, You know, um, the same experience happened with... uh, uh, Samuel, you know, because yes. uh, God was calling him in a book of Samuel, uh, yes. Samuel, Samuel, and he was listening while he was sleeping. You mm-hmm. know, that was not, he was awake. So God was calling him because that was a very prophetic time for the nation of Israel because mm-hmm. a nation of Israel was going through a, that tough time and they didn't need a voice of God because God didn't spoke to Israel mm-hmm. for a while. And right. that was a young kid, you know, and God, the voice of God was calling him, and but he was keep getting up and going to Elijah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes uh, we uh, have a vision, but we don't have an understanding of that vision. Right. Mm-hmm. Because that's we think uh, our, our dream, because we think that's our conscience, that's that's probably something me think. Yes. You know? yes. But sometimes ca- God calling you, but you're not having that conscience, like spiritual conscience to awaken, you know? Yes. Because we need to be awakened spiritually. Mm-hmm. Uh, my conversation, uh, my confirmation came from other pastors that they say, you know what? Um, come in the right environment. Because sometimes we are, uh, we have the dream, we have the vision, mm-hmm. but we are in a wrong environment. Yeah, that's we need so to good. Be brought back into the right environment around right people. You tell me what kind of friends you hang around. I will tell you your future. Right, you know? that's and that's good. that's how you have to be planted in a right environment in order for you to grow and understand your dream, and then you will begin to understand why God called you for that particular situation because the voice of God needed to be here uh, to be heard in the nation of Israel and I believe that God called me for this particular time where we have all millennials are coming out of their mm-hmm. comfort zone and they, they need to be encouraged they need to be motivated so that's I believe mm-hmm. that that's the very particular reason I didn't know it before but now I understand why God called me now mm-hmm. that's amazing yes. what about Vision TV Is that, did you say you have something called Vision TV uh, Vision TV is brought Cast currently uh, Middle East, okay. uh, all over. So we partner with other TV channels in Pakistan. Uh, but I'm very passionate about leadership. I believe um, what is leadership? Leadership is influence, and yes. I want to, um, you know, lead people with influence. Uh, the 26th president of uh, United States, Theodore Roosevelt, said, yeah, "People don't care how much you know until they know um, how much you care." Yes, that's so. Good. Um, <laughs> You cannot influence people without caring. You know, Maxwell That's said, so "You cannot lead. Pe- you can lead people without loving them, but you cannot love them without leading." So, Ooh. so I believe that 
in order to create influence, I need to love people. Mm -hmm. I need good. to tell them Jesus is love. God is love. Bible says God is love. Yes, and does. whoever do, and who it, it don't have love, they are not born of God. So right. we want to make sure that we love people, we polish mm -hmm. people, we bring people forth. You know, because out there there are great voices, but they needs to again, they needs to be planted mm -hmm. in a right environment. I believe I'm the environment that God created me for people, so I can reach out to them. Those younger millennials generation that wants to come out and reach the world for the nation uh, for the name of Jesus Christ I believe it is a time for Millennials to yes. come out and reach the entire world not just yeah. Middle East I'm talking about United States I'm talking about Canada I'm talking about Europe Africa right. everybody needs to hear Jesus I'm yeah. not gonna rest until I preach Jesus to mm -hmm. every single uh, creation who has a breath of life Awesome. That is so awesome. I love that. And it's so important um, to know your vision and to know who you are called to reach out to. We're all called to, uh, we have a voice, Ephesians 2 and 10 says, we are his workmanship created yes. in Christ Jesus to do good works, which Christ prepared in advance for us to do. And, and there are great works for us to do. And I love um, your focus on millennials. Yes. What are some tips you would tell millennials tonight who are feeling that tug, that vision, that pull. There are some of you watching tonight on Facebook Live um, who are saying, you know, I kind of feel that pull, but I feel hesitant. What would you say to millennials tonight watching? I will say uh, one of the biggest problems, uh, because I'm part of a millennial generation, one of the biggest problems we have, we, we have an identity problem. We, mm -hmm. we are born in that technological world, but we just try to realize, you know, who we are. You know, sometimes, uh, uh, let, let me tell you how uh, I found out that we have really identity crisis because I was going for business, but I was called for ministry. Right. You know? And I didn't know who I was until God again shook me, you know. Right. And I, 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 I want to commute to every, um, uh, communicate with every single millennials that who are watching out there that you have a calling, that you have a purpose, you know. Uh, don't care what, you know, peer pressure tells you, what, what other people tells you, you are this and that. But I want you to focus on what God tells you. And it is more matters what God tells you mm -hmm. than other people trying to tell you and trying to label you yeah. with something that you are not. Not, you know, yeah. and I would like to tell those uh, millennials, find your identity in Christ. Yeah. Because when you Amen. find your identity in Christ, that's a beginning of your journey. You know, starting off that vision, starting off with that dream, starting off with that passion, mm -hmm. that, you know, great things that you have. Absolutely. And you are in the process of writing a book. Yes. Um, will that be focused on, tell us about that book and will that be something that will be a tool for millennials as well? Yeah, I believe that this book is going to be a great uh, tool for millennials because we need all, we all need faith, you know, mm -hmm. because if, if we don't, uh, I often say that if we, if we walk by faith, people will call us blind, but you need to open your spiritual eyes to understand that you are walking mm -hmm. with faith, you yeah. Yeah. Because because I don't want to walk with the eyes of the world, but I want to walk with the eyes of God. Because when you're walking in His presence, with His direction, the way He lead uh, leading mm -hmm. you and directing you, and that's that's gonna be a, a life changing experience for you. So mm -hmm. winning uh, your battle by faith is one of the tools that everybody needs to have in their library or on their self in order to motivate, step out of your comfort zone. Because most of us millennials, because we need faith we need encouragement we need motivations mm -hmm. to can't get out of our comfort zone and do something amazing so this book will be also available on adnanministries.org uh, and uh, there that's where you know we are uh, putting all of our materials mm -hmm. for millennials to uh, go on there and download some of the great mm -hmm. uh, stuff that we are putting up there for them to get encouraged inspire and, and, and stay connected Awesome. And tell us again how um, our audience can get in touch with you again tonight. Um, they can go on Adnan Ministries, uh, adnanministries.org, or they can also type uh, Vision TV on a Facebook. We, when, when we came uh, and um, we share this broadcast on our Vision uh, TV page as well, so we have over 70,000 followers, so people can also get connected. We are reaching millions for the name of Jesus, and we want to help each and everyone who has a calling in their life and wanted to be connected. We want everybody to stay connected and see how uh, we can help people how we can develop people how we can equip people how we can uh, you know contribute to in people lives how we can add value to people because everybody needs to be added value 
Yeah, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Now, do you have, do you put messages on Vision TV? Do you like post messages that you preach or? Uh, there is, uh, yes, there are available uh -huh. uh, messages on um, uh, Vision TV on a Facebook, but a lot okay. of, uh, I do a show, it's called uh, Live Show with Adnan Maksud. Oh, so, wow. Okay, good. We have uh, these shows. Um, I, I have interviewed people. It's online, so people... Uh, plug in from Australia, people plug in from Iceland, Europe. I have the opportunity to interview over 250 people around the world. So it's mean we are tapping in in Ireland. We have directors, uh, directors all over the United States and in Ireland, oh. Europe and uh, Dubai. So Dubai is one of our places where we are planting churches. Okay. And um, and this nation really needs it. The reason I wanted to plant churches there because this is a melting pot for all nationalities. Yes. If we can plant a church, we can reach other generation, other people from different nationality where right. we, uh, as America, not allowed to go. Yeah, sounds like you have a big vision happening. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I cannot sometimes sleep, you know, because of that. So I feel like I need to do more. And I believe uh, people are, because I cannot do it on my own. So right. I, we always having uh, uh, asking people to join on, on a Vision TV team. So how we can, you know, through you, uh, we can reach the world, you know, because what I don't, uh, what I can do, maybe you can do, because yes. maybe God called you to do that. So we want to mm -hmm. help people to tap into their, uh, tap into their passion, you know, uh, what God actually called them for. So Pakistan is one of the places, um, you know, before I uh, let you so, uh, give over to you. So Pakistan is one of the places I wanted to bring more attention that where we are yes. planting churches. We are, our goal is to plant 12 churches in Pakistan. Oh, wow. That's so awesome. right now, successfully, we launched four churches in Pakistan. It's called Vision um, Church. So we have in a different locations and we already installed pastors. So it's going amazing. Come on, somebody. Wow, well, that is awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Yes. Well, I know I, what an incredible work you are doing. And I know that you have been so blessed by Adnan. And they will put his website on the screen um, so you can get in touch with him and find out more about all of the ministry and work you are doing for the next generation. I know that you have been blessed tonight by yes. all those who have been with us um, and just sharing those great messages of rest, healing, and then taking that vision of the Lord around the world. So we have a quick break, so grab a snack and come on back. You don't want to miss the second half.